How to avoid reapers in Sea of Thieves. Are you constantly getting attacked by these reapers? Then stay tuned and find out tips on how to avoid them. I'm Captain Rusty and don't forget to subscribe to show your support to my channel. So the first thing is to understand what these reapers want and why they're after you. So the main thing is they want your missionary flag. This is because when they trade that in, they get a lot more gold than they would for a chest. Secondly, they want your loot because at the end of the day, they do need to make profit themselves. So best way to make profit is take off for you. But when it comes to killing you and constantly attacking you, that's just a little bonus they get out of it. Because at the end of the day, they don't really gain much from killing you, they don't get any money or anything. So, now we know this, what can we do in order to stop and prevent this? Well, we can start by checking the missionary table as soon as we log into the game. This will give us an idea of how many Reapers are playing at one time on this server. So if I join in and there's two on there, I know, hmm, it's a bit risky. But if there's none on there, then yeah, maybe it's a good server to start on because you know, at this current time, no one's any, there's no Reapers anywhere. But if you do find yourself joining a server and there's more than one or two Reapers on the table, then why not just join another server? Head off out the game and join a new server and you should be okay. You can also check your ship's map as well because this will highlight any Reapers currently playing as a red ship. Also gives you their location so you know where they are. Make sure you do know what area they are in. So if they're in the left side of the map, then why not play in the right side of the map? If they're at the top half, play in the bottom half. Try and play around where they are. So make sure you don't be in the same area as them. Also check what grade they are. If they're graded between 1 and 2, then presume that they've just started out. Because they're quite a low grade, they might be playing for a bit more. If they are higher than grade 3, then they might have already been playing for a little while, so you might be in luck. Maybe they've got maybe an hour left in them, maybe they're ready to cash in, who knows. They might actually play for a lot longer than you think. So just take it as a presumption and not an actual fact. So before you set so, you need to know what you're going to do. But I do advise that you don't choose an emissary because once a reaper reaches grade 5, if you're playing an emissary flag and you have one flying, then they can see where you are at all times on the map. Now you are blacked out as a black ship, but they can still see where you are, so don't have an emissary. Just play something a bit more casual, maybe you do gold hoarders the old way. Another way to help avoiding reapers is to sail with a bigger crew, because this means you can do islands a lot quicker because there's now four of you, or three of you choose to break. Also means you're not going to stay in the same location for a long period of time because you are getting through them quicker. Also it means you've got a bigger crew for a more hands on deck experience and also a lot more experience combined between all of you so you know what to do in a situation of being chased by a reapers. Two could maintain the ship while the other two jump off and try and drop their anchor or attack them. Hope this guide has been helpful for you and I know it's always tricky when we're dealing with pesky PvPers. Why not click a video appearing on the screen right now, you never know you might enjoy it.